what I'm not, not brought mine either. I was wondering why I ain't got no cell phone. <laughs> I'll get a picture of you when we get back. Look at that, guys. Big crappie. He's got some shoulders, that oh, You can come up here, Steve. All we need to do is just flip. Uh, we're just going to flip. Here's a big school of fish right here. And uh, I've actually got this set up. It's almost like a gun, okay? This a lot of people they use this as a handle, but you see those crappie way out there? A lot of so these are shad. Okay. These are crappie. Okay. And you, you can see the difference, really. The shad's more grouped up. Uh, yeah, they're tighter wads. You throw a lot of nets for catfish and see? Yeah, I used to, not much anymore. They're getting a little bit heavy, ain't they? Well, I just I can buy it now for people. <laughs> So Steve, so you see where this is aiming right here? Yep. And all I do... They're out there 40 where, feet. Yeah, where that's aiming, I just put my stuff. And the reason why I like a long rod is because uh, I can control that fall, that fall rate. You see how I'm wanting to just stay over those fish? Uh -huh. Kind of just lowering that down? I never want to drop below that fish. Right, you want to stay above it. Yeah. But uh, the biggest thing is boat control. Like, mm -hmm. I guess in the tournament world, it's it's who can read the tuck binder the best and who can uh, exactly interpret what you're looking at. Mm -hmm. There's there some guys uh, not too long ago they won the tournament cane poles. I was reading about them. I read the article on it. And a buddy of mine said these guys uh, didn't have the live scope or anything. They won the tournament with cane poles. This has been like a, maybe two weeks ago. One o'clock. That's a big pile of fish right there. They're 40 foot. The ones we're after. Start real estate. Watch that bounce, man. I smell him. <laughs> he might chop him there. He's doing a better work. He's going to last close to 11. Yeah. Another magnolia. That's a sandwich, ain't it? Yeah. <laughs> well. It looks like we're getting on them, doesn't it? Yeah. There's some right here, so let's get back on these guys. See how they're starting to show up now? Mm -hmm. I guess they're starting to move back in here just a little bit more. They've still got a ways to go. They've got another mile to go. Oh, really? Yeah, brother. So what, why are they back here right now? Just chasing bait? Yeah, they're chasing this bait. And they're, just, they're gorging themselves and they're also uh, we are, even though we're in February, this is still like pre-spawn. Yeah. They spawn when, like March or April? Late April. Late April. Uh, the last week of April. Uh, these are some good ones right here, Steve. I'm gonna let you catch them because I'm, apparently I'm only good for a net, man. Oh, no. <laughs> there you go, 30 foot, 12 o'clock. I learned my lesson, Steve. <laughs> so you, you just have to cruise around back in here all day looking for single fish that you're you're catching yeah your bigger ones are going to be if you want to if you want a three pound fish you can catch those ones and twos and threes you target those and you can get a three pounder see uh if we catch any out of school there's a possibility they could be short really well, there's not a lot of possibility if these are going to be short this is going to be a good fish if we could ever get it sucker to, to buy you think it's the same one we've been chasing? Yeah, he's the same one. He, he linked up with that other one, and that other one kind of messed us up. Kind of, I, I don't know, made him move, or I don't know what they were talking about. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, he had him, he's right there in that flying spot, about 40. But if I run across another fish that's, that's still, I'll just switch over. I don't get hung up on, I don't get tunnel vision. Right. I like, I like taking people out and teaching them, but uh, 
I like I like families. I like to come out and catch fish. There's two things. Whenever they get out here and they catch a crappie like what you caught earlier, right? They're pretty daggum happy. Uh, they don't get to fish much and and they probably never fish their whole life and they come out and they catch a fish like that. I mean uh, that's what it, it makes it worth it getting up with one. That looks like a few couple good ones in there. It is. That's a good that's a good pile of fish there. I'll get about 30 from them and you, you cast on right where this is pointed right here, Steve. Yep. I'm gonna go ahead and hit this from the birds. Make sure the down. Here you go. Start rolling back now. Gonna do right here. Yeah. He sees you, he's coming. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, fast! I bet. <laughs> well, he's a little bitty fella, but that's a magnolia. Oh, he's that small. <laughs> he fought like heck. Yeah. That's one of them hard fighting magnolias. We gotta let you do. Sure. He's full of eggs too. Black nose magnolias. Is that? Yeah, magnolia. He's a good one. Measuring out for you. Show you. They're bigger than you think they are. Yeah. You see how hard it would be with the wind just to mm -hmm. play in its role. If it was bad, 15 mile an hour. This is how a lot of people win those big tournaments with those crabs boys and stuff. They're pretty good fishermen. Yeah. Put a lot about them. They like that hair jig, don't they? Yeah, you don't lift that one. <laughs> All right. And there's a good one, ain't it? Yeah, no, that's a good one. Oh, come here. That's a good one. Oh, he was a paper mouth too. He just barely in there. He barely had it. So this is a hair jig. That's a Popeye hair jig. Popeye right? hair jig. That's the blue and white one. They like that blue and white. Well, that was a good one, there. Right? Where are you putting it? That's easy. There he is. There you go. That's fun, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I understand why people, they love, they don't care too much for the plant boys, but it's fine when you get a crappie like that and you sell them something. That's a good crappie. Yeah, yeah that's a big one. Alright. Here we go, folks. <laughs> Big crappie. <laughs> yeah, uh, I try to. I do my best at keeping track of them. Uh, I fish probably five to six days a week, even though if I don't have people out. You don't meet a lot of fish, also that don't want it, but they're out there. Yeah. <laughs> had one the other day. I guess I threw him for thirty minutes, and he still didn't want it. And and I. I trust my electronics, I know what I'm looking at. And it's not that I can see the scale or the color of the fish, it's just the way they're acting. And the shape. So you got here, Major. See how it just changed the bay? <laughs> you need a net? Oh, that's good. Steve. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. They don't even look real, you know. Look how how much meat they have. Yeah. 
You can see I changed that jig out. First thing got nailed. I don't know what makes them want to change that every day to day. Maybe is it the profile, the smaller, smaller look? Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, I don't know why anybody wants to keep a 10 inch fish. They, if you can catch not, fish like this, I didn't even know they know. made them this big, really. Back when I was fishing 20 years ago, yeah. I never seen no fish this big. <laughs> I say that a lot. People don't even know they make them that big, do they? <laughs> no, that's a good, that's a dandy there, that's a dog. That was a good one. notice how we haven't caught any short fish doing this right because the short fish and the big fish they do two separate things after they hit 10 inches it's like they turn into something else <laughs> we got a monster. Oh, it's one of them magnolias. That's a job. Big old one. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. No, oh, it fell right out. The black nose crappie, magnolia crappie. This is a what? A two pounder? Two and a half? Two and a, two and a quarter. Two and a quarter. I am out here today with uh, Cleary, Kentucky Fishing, Preston Cleary. Uh, we're down here at Dale Hall with him. He's uh, showing me how to catch these big fish uh, in open water with the live scan. Is that what it is, live scan? Uh, live scope. Live scope? Yeah. But look at this big crappie, guys. Awesome. How's, how's it, folks wanting to come down here and, and uh, book a trip with you? How are they going to find you? Uh, they can find me on Facebook, mm -hmm. uh, or they can call my phone number, 808-366-6085. All right. And you 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 primarily just guide the, the Dale Hollow Lake? That and the Cumberland River. Okay, Cumberland River. All right. The crappie fishing on Dale Hollow is what I love to do. But look here, guys. This is what you can get. That's a big crappie, ain't it? Yeah, we've got three or four of those right now. Yep. That's amazing. I didn't know they made them this big. <laughs> <laughs> they do. They, they get real down here. That's the, about the third big one like that we've caught. Yeah. Yeah, it's huge. All right. You got him from the bottom? Yeah, I got him off the bottom. Good one? Yeah. Really, he looks like a good one. He looks like a loud weller, doesn't he? Yeah, if we are allowed to put him in. <laughs> I better count him, huh? Yeah. 
But I got, I've got a live well in the front, and what I'll do is I'll just walk them to the front and I'll count them that way. Hey guys, we've had a really successful trip today on Dale Hollow Lake with our new friend Preston at Cleary, Kentucky Fishing Guide Service. Let's check it out guys, look what we got. Look at all these rascals. Some of these fish are nearing two pounds. Are they over two pounds, yep. Preston? Uh, here's a nice two and a quarter. Two and a quarter? These things are meaty, meaty yeah. fish. Here's another two pounder. Here's another two. We caught a lot nice of them today, Magnolia. didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, we've got some really nice fish. Uh, we didn't keep any under 11 inches. Now tell tell the folks the difference between the, this is all these are black crappie except for this one. Yeah. Uh, so there's we got some magnolias in here. Um, so they call them black nose here in Kentucky, but they're actually called magnolia crappie. Uh, they were in, introduced here some time ago, but because they have this black streak up them is what the reason. Yeah. Okay. That's how you know that racing stripe. But they are probably the hardest fighting crappie there is. Oh, that one there when I caught pull drag. I, yeah. I, I loved it. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, they're a ton of fun to catch. And these black crappie, you know, they're hard to catch. They're not like your your whites, but uh, they get a lot heavier the shorter they are. But, uh, yeah, uh, we've had a, a good day today. We've had a, we got a double limit right here of fish. And like, like I said, we haven't caught any under, we didn't keep any under 11 inches. Yeah, we caught more fish than this, guys, but yeah. I wasn't wanting to keep any small fish. <laughs> So yeah, we, we got big fish here, that's for sure. Everything's probably over 12 inches on this. Yeah, everything, everything we have is over 12. We've had a great day. You got the table set out here. You you apparently clean fish for people when you got for them. I do, uh, at the end of the day, uh, we'll come back in, we'll clean fish, I'll bag them up, I'll cut the rib cages and everything out, and we'll put them in our Ziploc bag and we'll send them on their way home with a big old nice mess of fish. So guys, you looking for a, a good trip on Dale Hollow Lake? Here is your uh, opportunity. Yeah, it's, it's definitely some of the best crappie fishing you'll ever do. Well tell the folks how they can get a hold of you if they want to come see you if a trip. Uh, you can find me on Facebook at Cleary Kentucky Fishing or under Preston Cleary. And my phone number is 808-366-6085. All right. Now folks, Preston's one of the guides that I initially had contacted for the Catfish Crappie Conference this year. And uh, he was one of the first guys to jump on board with me with both feet and we do appreciate him for that. And uh, I just wanted to come down here and, and hopefully uh, do some networking with him to where we can get him some more business through you guys seeing this awesome mess of fish here so yeah he come see him at the catfish crappie conference february 24th and 25th oh look at that look at the size of that my goodness <laughs> it's bigger than my hand oh <laughs> man that's big big old crappie yeah, they're big i'm telling you and it's only going to get better from for the next two months it's just going to keep getting better so the next two months is even better yeah I mean, I, this is a great day. I mean, I, this, this has been the most successful crappie day I've ever seen. Oh, uh, it's just a start. But I'm still new at this. I'm still kind of new at this. People like to catch them on brush piles when they're nesting. Uh-huh. See, this is how I like to catch them. Uh, I can target those bigger fish. Yeah, and that's, I noticed that's what you were doing. You were looking for the just the singles and doubles out there just looking, in open water, just yeah. sitting there by themselves. Yeah, uh, I can kind of tell how big they're going to be before you even get them in the boat. Before you even bite the head. I don't think we have one under 11 inches, 11 and a half inches. They might all be 12s. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Man. All right, I was wondering what the three bags were for, but I guess you can see, see it. You see it now? <laughs> I cleaned enough of them to know that uh, you're going to need three bags for 30 fish. <laughs>